A good espresso cannot be improvised. Brewing espresso is a fine art. Now you can have the pleasure of drinking and serving superbly tasting Italian coffee and cappuccino in your own home. DeLonghi's Cafe Vario is easy to operate and easy on the eye. Its simple and modern design will lend an air of elegance to your kitchen. It's like having your very own Italian cafe. You will be making almost instantaneously espressos and cappuccinos that have the full body taste of Italian coffee. The revolutionary Vario system allows you to control the kind of espresso you prefer, light, medium, or strong. Your Cafe Vario also makes exquisite cappuccino rapidly and without effort, thanks to the adjustable steam novel and the cappuccino jet frother, an instrument that produces instant, rich, and thick froth. To ensure that even your first coffee will have the perfect taste you expect, it's advisable to run the machine through at least one pre-washing cycle. The reservoir of your Cafe Vario has a cap equipped with a safety valve. To open the cap, turn it counterclockwise, lift it, then turn it counterclockwise again. Pour the desired amount of water into the thermal glass carafe. For the pre-washing cycle, fill up to the metal pan's lower rim. Never exceed this level in any of the following operations. After inserting the filter in the filter holder, attach the holder to the machine underneath the boiler nozzle and align the handle with the mark to the left of the switch. The holder is secured by lifting and rotating it to the right. When the filter holder is in proper position, place the craft under it, fitting the spout to the lid aperture. After plugging the power cord into the wall outlet, turn on the main switch. Make sure that the steam knob is in the closed position by turning it clockwise and that the various system control lever is in light or medium position. Hot water will start to flow within about two minutes. Let it pour out completely, then turn off the main switch, and before unscrewing the cap, make sure there is no residual pressure in the reservoir by slowly opening the steam knob. Your Cafe Vario is now ready for use. Your Cafe Vario will make two to four cups of perfect espresso. Here is how to proceed for four cups. Fill the carafe with water up to level four, then pour the water into the reservoir. Make sure both the safety cap and the steam knob are securely closed. For optimum results, we recommend that you use ground coffee of the best quality and above all that it be coarsely ground. Using the measuring spoon, fill the filter with the coffee to the desired level, two or four cups, spreading the coffee evenly without tamping it down and remove any excess from the rim of the filter. Then attach the filter holder to the machine. Put the carafe beneath the filter holder so the spout fits the opening in the carafe's lid. Set the Vario system control level to the type of coffee desired, light, medium, or strong. Plug the power cord into the wall outlet and turn on the main switch. It only takes a couple of minutes for delicious aroma to announce that perfect coffee is ready for serving. When the coffee brewing is finished, turn off the main switch. Make sure there is no residual steam in the reservoir and unplug the machine. Pour the coffee from the carafe into four porcelain or ceramic cups. Refrain from using plastic cups. To make two cups of espresso, you may use either the carafe or the special adapter with which the espresso can be poured directly into the cups. Here is how to use the adapter. Fill the carafe with water to level two and pour the water into the reservoir. Then fill the filter with coffee to the level for two cups. Insert into the filter holder. Attach the adapter to the filter holder. Insert the filter holder in the machine as described previously. Position the cups under the adapter spout. Set the Vario system control lever to the type of espresso desired. Turn on the switch and proceed as previously shown. Your Cafe Vario will also make delicious cappuccinos. Requirements, a stainless steel pitcher, fresh, whole, or skim milk as you prefer, but not boiled, ground coffee, powdered cocoa, porcelain, or ceramic cappuccino cups, and a spoon. Your Cafe Vario can make two or four cups of cappuccino. To make two cups, fill the carafe with water up to the steam indicator mark and pour the water into the reservoir. Insert the filter into the filter holder, position the craft under the spout, and select the desired type of coffee with the Vario system control lever. Turn on the main switch, making sure the steam knob is in the closed position. Pour milk into the stainless steel pitcher to about one-third of its capacity. 
it's essential that the pitcher not be more than half full. As soon as the coffee appears, set the control lever to the steam mark, pressing it firmly to the left. The coffee will stop pouring out. Insert the pitcher under the cappuccino jet frother, taking care that the jet frother is immersed in the milk. Slowly open the steam knob by turning it counterclockwise. Move the pitcher up and down intermittently so the extremity of the cappuccino jet frother will skim the surface of the milk until you have produced the desired amount of froth. An instant mixture of milk, steam and air is thus created inside this special device which will rapidly whip the milk to perfection. Now close the steam knob. Set the various system control lever to the desired type of coffee, light, medium or strong. The coffee brewing will resume automatically. Cafe Vario is equipped with an adjustable steam tube. To prevent it from dripping on the counter, you can swivel it above the drip tray. Wait until all the coffee is out, then turn off the main switch and make sure there is no residual steam in the reservoir. If you want to make four cups of cappuccino, simply fill the carafe to the lower rim of the metal band and fill the filter with coffee to level four. Follow the same procedure as in preparing two cups of cappuccino. Pour the previously prepared coffee into the cappuccino cups. Now pick up the pitcher and pour the whipped milk into the coffee. First a little milk, holding the froth back with the spoon, then the froth. Here you are. Now you have a cappuccino full of firm froth that can be served with a sprinkling of powdered cocoa, of cinnamon, or of sugar only, as preferred. You can also use your Cafe Vario to make delicious hot chocolate. Fill water into the craft up to the steam mark and pour the water into the reservoir. Make sure the safety cap and the steam knob are closed. Set the Vario system control lever to the steam mark, pressing firmly to the left. Now, plug the machine into the wall outlet and turn on the main switch. The unit will be ready within about two minutes. Meanwhile, pour the powdered cocoa directly into the pitcher and add a cup of milk. Now, whip the cocoa as though it were milk for a cappuccino. When the desired density is reached, close the steam knob and turn off the machine. Serve the hot chocolate in a cup and add sugar to your taste. Cleaning Cafe Vario is simplicity itself. Before doing anything else, unplug from the wall outlet and allow the machine to cool down. Before unscrewing the safety cap, always remember to check that there is no residual steam in the reservoir by slowly opening the steam knob. After removing the coffee grounds, regularly clean the carafe, the filter holder, the filter and the adapter under running water and wipe them with a dry soft cloth. Do not use solvents, detergents, abrasives or dishwashers. All you need is a soft cloth and running water. The drip tray is easy to remove and should be cleaned the same way. The steam tube must be cleaned immediately after each use since milk incrustations are difficult to remove. Unscrew the cappuccino jet frother and wash it carefully under running water or clear the holes with a needle. Whether you want Irish coffee, hot chocolate, tea, cappuccino, espresso or any one of the many other exquisite drinks, using Cafe Vario is the ideal way to prepare them. A real little Italian cafe at your beck and call.